Welcome back to part 17 of turning this school bus into our first home. Today's goal is to install the insulation and plywood subfloor. We started off by cutting our one inch foam insulation to size. Then we carefully placed all of the cuts into their correct frame slots. We went with foam board insulation because it's rigid and will create a more stable floor. We were left with a bunch of gaps on the perimeter of the frame so we decided to use some aluminum tape to seal it up. This will only help with the R value minimally but it was an easy step that we thought was worth it. It also keeps all the foam board nicely in place. And after all that work, it's time for the plywood. Woo! These pieces are so much heavier than they look. We started out by marking all of the cuts. Then we used a circular saw to cut off any excess. Next, we got to put the plywood into place, which was so surreal and exciting. All that's left to do is secure it to the frame with wood-to-wood -wood screws. And that's it, guys. Our bus has a floor that we can run and play and jump on. Make sure to support us by subscribing to the YouTube linked in our bio for longer schooly content.